my gosh, did you see that girl in class? <laughs> if you're talking about Count Dracula, then yes. Why be mad when people are looking at you? You're literally dressed like that. I know, it couldn't be me. Oh especially with that black collar. <laughs> <laughs> what does she think she is? Obviously all black. Some black can go with colors, but all black. I literally, like... What are you going to, a funeral? <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, by the way, I can't take you home today. Um, Chad needs You've got to be kidding me. That's not gonna make the situation any better, you know. Well, do you have any other suggestions? I'm just saying people are probably aware we're in here. This is the only elevator in the building. Hanging on our only resource that might help us get out of here is probably not the best choice. <sighs> well, this blows. No signal. Figures. <sighs> Might as well get comfortable. <sighs> Sorry you got stuck in the elevator with Count Dracula. So you heard that. I was right behind you. No, you... I mean... I'm sorry. I just haven't ever seen anyone dress like... Like what? A ghost? Vampire? I've heard it all. People like you always have the same insults. You know there is a fashion sense outside of wearing Lululemon leggings and crop tops? Now you sound like the judgmental one. <laughs> Do I not have the right to? It's not like I wasn't literally on display in class like a freak show. You don't want people to gawk at you in class, and why do you wear all of that? It's not what people say that makes me wake up every morning and go, you know what? I'm gonna wear this day so I get stared at. So I get mocked at, catcalled. I wear it because this is me. Because I want to. This is simple self-expression. Seems to me I'm more scared of this than witches and ghosts. Does self-expression scare you? No. I, I don't know, just... I, I've just never really seen anyone dress like you was all. But my comment was rude, and I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, I mean, it's October, and it's cool that you're uh, all dressed up for Halloween. I like your socks. Hmm? Your socks? They have ghosts and spiders on them. Oh, uh, thank you. I really like Halloween. <laughs> Me too. I couldn't tell. So, this has been an ongoing issue since you've been on campus? Somewhat. People don't like change, even in college. And some people are just insecure. I've gotten pretty used to it. Let's see. I don't think anyone's coming. I guess that's what I get for being an optimist. Maybe it's time we put matters into our own hands. Get up. Talk about a weapon in disguise. Now what? I don't know. That usually works for most things.
Hey, so I never got your name. It's Clarity. And you? Jane. I'm sorry about everything I said earlier. I was being really lame, I realize. <laughs> You're just now realizing? Yeah, baby. I'm just now realizing. It's just you... you express yourself just fine. And the most I'm willing to do without feeling judged is wear some ghosty socks. Again, I was being totally lame and... I'm sorry, Clarity. <laughs> well, I had some preconceptions about people who dress like you too, so you proved me wrong. Apology accepted. But don't call me a ghost again, otherwise next time I will haunt you. <laughs> Hurry before the doors close again! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, as much as I'd love to stay, I probably should get going. I probably got a parking ticket. Oh yeah. Well, I get to walk. Oh yeah, your friend bailed on you. I saw that. Yeah. Honestly, the two of us probably shouldn't stay here anyways, just in case we actually do get haunted. Why don't I give you a ride home, Jane? Um, are you sure? I mean... <laughs> Unless you want to walk in the freezing cold. Okay, yeah, I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> Alright, I'm this way. Thank you.